This is an Arduino Uno. Or is it? It does not say Arduino, the color looks quite different, and what is R3? Is it a fake? Was I duped? Well, let's begin from the start. Hi, I'm Tommy Bianco, and today I'll tell you all about Arduino development boards. Arduino is an open source hardware and software company that creates prototyping solutions for education, hobbyists, and industry. It is open source, which means that anyone, including you, can download their latest documentation and build your own Arduino. This is why you can find Arduinos made by different manufacturers, including some rather peculiar options. Except that you can't use the name Arduino, it's a brand, which resulted in a number of creative naming solutions. These off-brand boards follow the original Arduino blueprints, and they utilize similar, if not identical hardware, which means that they only differ in the manufacturing quality, or the lack of thereof. External manufacturers aside, Arduino themselves have created several dozens of different boards. So, what board do you pick for your next specific project needs? Let me walk you through the options and share some relevant project examples, so you can make your choice between Uno, Mego, Nano, or maybe even Maker. Arduino creators themselves split their impressive portfolio into three families. Classic, Nano, and Maker. Arduino Classic includes the iconic Arduino Uno. R3 on this board means that it is the third revision of the Classic, each iteration providing some improvements of the design. This is the standard starter board, a perfectly balanced and affordable solution to help you build your first few projects. Arduino Uno Wi-Fi, as the name suggests, is an Uno R3 upgrade with embedded Wi-Fi and Bluetooth currently available in its second revision. It is a great solution if you want to make a connected project, like an RGB display you can control from your smartphone. Just a few days ago, Arduino unveiled its Uno R4, which spots a new microcontroller and offers a 16-fold increase in memory. This comes really handy if you have a program with many variables, like animations in my ChatGPT video, which quickly take up all of your program memory. Uno R4 comes in two variants, Minima and Wi-Fi, which act as successors to Uno R3 and Uno Wi-Fi Rev2. The flagship last-gen Arduino Uno Wi-Fi offers an onboard 12x8 LED matrix, a convenient alternative if you don't have a display module, like one of these guys, or you just don't want the fuss of dealing with the wires. Arduino Leonardo looks like an Uno, but features a processor with a built-in USB communication, eliminating the need for a secondary processor, a little chip right here on our little Uno. This allows Leonardo to appear to your computer as a mouse and keyboard. Arduino Zero also looks like an Uno, but features a different processor that supports 32-bit application development for more demanding projects. It also features a low-power mode and an embedded debugger, which allows you to use Atmel Studio for, well, advanced debugging. Arduino Mega looks nothing like Arduino Uno. This larger board offers considerably more digital and analog pins, making it suitable for larger projects with many modules and peripherals. Arduino Due takes Mega further by using a quicker 32-bit core microcontroller with more memory, similar to Arduino Zero making it a better fit for larger and more demanding projects. Arduino Giga is even more ambitious, with a dual-core 32-bit microcontroller, onboard Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Arducam connector, and many other embedded features. The only thing more impressive than Arduino Giga's hardware is its price tag. Good thing it's an absolute overkill and most of my projects run on good old Uno R3. Last but not least, Arduino Micro is similar to Leonardo or Uno R3, but it offers a much smaller spatial footprint for more compact projects. Arduino Nano acts as a base model for the second Arduino board family, Nano family, just like Arduino Uno R3 in the classic division. Nano looks almost identical to Arduino Micro, 
also coming in a small form factor, just a few millimeters shorter than Micro. It spots a slightly different microcontroller, different pinout and offers way more versions, which also look extremely similar. Arduino Nano Every offers a noticeably better processor and swaps mini USB to micro USB, all while coming at half the price of the original Nano. Choosing between these two really is a no-brainer, and I am frankly surprised you can still purchase the outdated version of this board at almost double the price. Nano 33 Blee, or Bluetooth Low Energy as the name suggests, comes with Bluetooth and Bluetooth Low Energy, as well as a 9-axis inertial sensor, all you need for your DIY Fitbit. Nano 33 BLE Sense adds a series of embedded sensors, making it a perfect choice for AI-focused projects, such as offline voice recognition. Nano 33 ILT and Nano RP2040 are both designed to empower Internet of Things and cloud projects like home automation. They also offer advanced processors with embedded Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Exactly one day after I completed this video, Arduino announced yet another new board, so I had to go back to editing for you guys. Nano ESP32 sports a microcontroller you would usually find in Arduino alternatives, like this little board over here. Although these boards were originally outside of the scope of this video, ESP32 and ESP8266 boards exist in many shapes and colors. These boards are a perfect Arduino alternative if you want to get into Internet of Things projects, as they offer both embedded Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at a very accessible price. Arduino Empire or Arduino Maker is the third common Arduino family. It offers advanced embedded hardware and a range of unusual connectivity solutions. Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1000 and 1010 are essentially revisions 1 and 2 for the maker equivalent of Arduino Uno Wi-Fi and Arduino Nano IoT. Perfect for Internet of Things projects. Maker WAN1300 and 1310 were made to use another fairly specialized feature, LoRa, a proprietary radio communication technique. Maker GSM1400 offers GSM, or simply put 3G connectivity for Internet of Things projects that cannot always rely on Wi-Fi. Arduino Maker MB1500 adds narrowband communication to your projects. It can contact other devices over narrowband IoT and LTM networks, an appropriate choice for remote areas. Finally, Arduino Maker Zero takes a different spin. It is a development board for music makers, as it allows you to play music from an SD card with no extra hardware. This concludes our brief overview of current Arduino development boards. Or so you would think, if you did not spot a link to Arduino Pro website for professional industry solutions. Gladly, two out of four families offered by this webpage are Nano and Maker, leaving us just two more categories to explore. Portenta H7 from Portenta family comes in three industrial grade formats, H7, H7 Lite and H7 Lite Connected. With identical size and pin position, Portenta boards are, more or less, a pro version of the Maker board. Arduino Portenta is designed to offer a powerful and reliable family of solutions for large-scale complex projects, like creating laboratory equipment or building high-end industrial machinery. Hence, the dual-core processor with a lot more memory and a significantly higher price. Portenta C33 offers the high performance of Portenta boards at a lower price and, together with onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it offers a potent solution for Internet of Things and connected systems. If you need to manage a fleet of your Uber drivers or automate an assembly line, a casual daily task for most of us, I'm sure, this board would be a perfect entry point. Portenta X8 boosts Portenta family performance and price even higher with a dual-core microcontroller for real-time operations and a dual-core microprocessor that runs Linux MicroPlatform OS, this little board has autonomous guided vehicles as a potential application listed on Arduino Store. Can you imagine competing with Elon Musk from your garage? 
NICLA Family Development Boards are tiny, low-power tools for intelligent sensing solutions. NICLA Sense ME offers a range of embedded environmental senses – motion, air quality, CO2, you name it. NICLA Voice allows for easy implementation of always-on speech recognition on the edge. All this mouthful essentially means offline voice recognition on a small microcontroller board. Finally, NICLA Vision does exactly what you'd expect from its name. It features an onboard 2 megapixel color camera for all your image recognition needs. These versatile, low power small boards are made for developing and deploying advanced machine learning solutions to reliably automate complex tasks when you go back to your massive warehouse. And that covers all the Arduino development board basics. Kind of. You can still find some of the discontinued solutions that sometimes look nothing like an Arduino. My favorites include Arduino Explorer, which is essentially an Arduino Leonardo shaped like a gamepad, and Lilypad, a tiny board perfect for wearable projects. In its 15-year history, folks at Arduino made a lot of different and creative development boards. And that's it. If you enjoyed this quick-ish Arduino board review, do not like this video, do not subscribe, and do not share this video with your nerdy friend. You will not get rid of them. But for now, Tommy Bianco, out. See ya!